Hello and welcome to Waffle TV. I'm Alex Kavanagh and I am joined by Kieran and Joe today, who are self-confessed friendship professionals and are offering fringe audiences um, masterclasses in friendship this year in their show Friends of Steel. So what, what gives you the right? Uh, <laughs> really? We, we, are, we are friends of steel ourselves. Yeah. We are the best friends uh, that we know. Yeah. And so we thought that it was sort of our responsibility to share what we, you know, all the brilliant things we know about friendship with, with everyone else. So are you best friends with each other or are you just best friends with everyone you know? How, how does it work? Um, <laughs> I'm certainly best friends with Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we are best. We are best, <laughs> best, friends, we're best friends for a while. Uh, and uh, basically, the whole idea is we we think we have the right to uh, make people better friends, but we really don't. That's the show is based on how crap we are. We like are. We, we have very bad friendship yeah. actually in the show. And we're um, not good at teaching. One based on coercion and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and it, it's fear, 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 fear a lot of fear and, and fear. sort of collective responsibility for things that have happened in the past and we can't really get out of them. Yeah, we're stuck in the past, horrible things have happened, uh, and we're sort of living that out in front of an audience of strangers <laughs> who we've told we're going to make better friends. It's, it's, it's a mess. It's, 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 mis a mess. it's a misguided mess. A misguided mess. <laughs> Much like most friendships and relationships, yeah. really, yes. <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, so, how many Facebook friends do you have then? Because this is a true test of real life, isn't it? I, I keep it at 200. That's so really healthy. If, anyone, if a new person arrives, someone else is going. Okay. So you're in, in the zone of sort of deleting people. I enjoy having a good cull every now and again. Because <laughs> it's, it's really good. You go through and you go, hi. It's quite fascist though, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's yeah, but it's like, how many people do you, how many people are you friends, are you friends on Facebook that you do not know? You do not know. I'm, I'm not I on went, Facebook. So. I was rubbish. No, I'm not. I, went, I went to my hometown um, a couple of years ago and I, I went into uh, the off license and there was a guy serving me in the off license and we were friends on Facebook. We did not exchange, we did not like acknowledge that we knew one another and that was, I thought, this is, this is absolutely rubbish. The real wake up call. The real wake up call. <laughs> me and, and for my generation. And I, think, I think, you know, the fight back is starting. Oh, thank God for that. Um, so, Kieran, what is, or oh, not what is, what, um, when have you been a really, really good friend to someone? Give you an example of excellent friendship. Before that, uh, May 4th kick. Oh yeah, um, we did a we did a, a gig in London. Some new, we'd written some new sketches. Very excited, and um, we'd written them all, rehearsed them all, we're getting going, and um, we were about to go on. And Joe um, decided that he didn't really want to do comedy anymore, and uh, he, he said, "I'm going, I'm going." <laughs> and uh, had a bit of a meltdown. Had a bit of a meltdown, yeah, and I I I, smi I said this smiling at him, but there was a yeah, there was, was a steel there was a steel. We talked earlier about coercion and fear. <laughs> That's what it was. He I said, through, I a through a smile, there was a steel behind it, and I said, "Joe, if you do this, I will never work with you again on anything." <laughs> and uh, he stayed, and we went on and did it, and it went out very well. And then we had a couple of big beers. We went to TGI Fridays. Oh yeah, exactly. it's Natalie's birthday. I don't know who Natalie is. <laughs> Friend. It's Natalie's birthday, <laughs> May the fourth. She gets really annoyed if you don't remember, so, so watch out. <laughs> Generally, she gets very annoyed. Yeah. Obviously, you did work together again because after that, yeah, we, we such built, good friends. We built, we built up from that. It's rare because it's funny because in the, in the show, I, I I play a sort of second, like sort of idiot idiot character who Joe bosses around. But in reality, I call the shots, yeah. and I bully Joe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I. I'm really struggling. I have no friends. Yeah. They they like me at the beginning, and then it just goes wrong. I don't know really. Is this true? Is this real? Yeah, no, I have no friends. Oh. No one. None of these people like me. Oh. No one in here likes me. Um, that lady over there's leaving. Yeah, exactly. I think. Just because you're just disgusted. Yeah. My aura. Yeah. It's yeah. malicious. <laughs> um, so, could you give me some tips or anything? Little masterclass of your own. Well, it's it's really important if you want to make any kind of connection with someone, you have to be able to share things with them. Share secrets. Okay. You can share Deep some secrets, secrets with us now. Do you want to share some um, secrets with us? That will 
that will help you. You'll at least be friends with us. Yeah. Would you actually be friends with me if I did that? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, wait, secrets. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta, you got to you gotta be ready. you got to be ready. We have to relax you <laughs> so that you, can, you feel like you can share. Right. So Kieran, could you hum? Can you hum? Do you feel a bit more relaxed? Okay, can you just share a secret with us from your childhood? Something you've not really told anyone before. I want to put sponge at my nose. A whole sponge? Oh, um, a, a whole sponge. <laughs> <laughs> There's an image for a Tuesday morning. <laughs> So you shared, you've shared with us. No, we've, we, we've, we've got, a, we've got a, a secret of mine that we do in the show, but it's not as funny as that. No, that's maybe that's the sponge. <laughs> I put a whole sponge up my nose. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. now that you've shared with us, I feel we're close. We're we closer. Mm. I feel a bit further away. Aww. Oh, well, I feel closer. Well, I feel closer. Well, closer. So you've got, you know, you've got Thank one you, friend tentatively. We're on probation. It's a probationary period. Yes. It's, it's yeah. pending, isn't it? It's request pending. Yeah, it's request pending. But he's not said no. I've not said no. <laughs> and that's the key thing. Well, hopefully you will accept it in time. Yeah. might be a week or a fortnight. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. I look forward to that. Okay, well, thank you very much, Kieran and Joe, for taking the time out to talk to us. If you want to catch them, they are on until the 27th yeah. at Pleasant's Courtyard yes. at quarter past three. Hey, someone's done their homework. Yeah, that's why I want to be a friend really badly. Yes. Um, this is Kieran and Joe in Friends of Steel. Okay, thank you very much.